You give it to us. It's the president of the company in Hawaii. The moment you die, your problems, your wealth, your position, possession, your name, oh, maybe it's a legacy. But for you personally, it is over. Praise God. So I want to thank you for all of us. Just try to see the Holy Father of God. And what is it to the Holy to obey the word of God? I continue to think in my silent moments how much he was prepared for this day, for this occurrence. It's as if this is the beginning of this year, you know, something like this will occur. I just continue thinking. I have known him from the first day to be his driver. You will be drafting the bank of nature. So whatsoever you saw, you will be me. Yes, every day we saw by what we do and how we do things. It need to show how to sow indeed and of great things and of impact. I'm glad that he was the man of his words. He was the doer of his words. He's uh, one of the very young people who uh, have what I call a combo of characteristics. He's calm, he's nice, he's selfless, he's unassuming, and uh, very humble. And uh, one light thing I say to people is every time I want to go to protest, uh, they're always worried about me. I'm the hot-headed one. So they will recruit him to follow me so that he can help calm me down and calm the police down. So he did that for a long time. Anytime we're going out to protest in Abuja, he had already left a legacy on Twitter. And as if he knew he would die about what should happen to the 2023 election, you know. He called on the authorities to make sure that the elections are free and fair. Because this is one thing that he's most concerned about. Uh, the elections that are representative of the aspirations of the people, you know. He took sides only with the truth when election matters are concerned. I can say that categorically. <laughs>
There's something worse than death. And that is the life lived without honor. But there is also a need for those who always plead with God that we can't question God. It is time we start questioning God about the death of innocent people in this country. Why God, in all places, will leave us with wicked old people and let the nice young ones die needlessly. We should question God for that. Because God does listen, right? And pass off trees on Sunday. Help us tell God to reverse this ugly trend in our country. That was how much does an air blood cost? And the subsequent time that it was thirty thousand dollars, it was like, why would you spend thirty thousand dollars on air ambulance? You guys are not being considered. And imagine, it's not even money. There was somebody that is sick, that ordinarily is somebody that is sick would be desperate to just get help at any time. He didn't even care, he was just then my mom was so worried about him and he, he took the off. For, you know, he could barely speak. Because we will be with him, we can see he's struggling to even breathe. You know, he still took the phone, called my mom, and told my mom that ah, there's nothing to worry about, I'm fine. Things like that. He said, I might hear from my body that I'm fine. You know, and he was telling me that he doesn't want her to come here and see him in this state because she has high blood pressure. He was considerate, even to the last minute. If there's one Nigerian who stood and refused to leave the issue, even when many people believe that it will not be passed, it is a real. Stay on it. The last few years he had on earth, he devoted it to Nigeria. He gave his all to Nigeria. Even when he wasn't feeling fine, he was there for Nigeria. On the you see him doing interview. For those who watch TV, you see him coughing. You see him going through much. He was in pain, but he had Nigeria at the forefront. And he said something. That he prayed that that new Nigeria that he fought for, that he gave his all to, that will see it sooner than later. And we say amen to that. Because indeed, that would mean that the fight that he fought was not in vain. Whenever I had issue on the electoral act, there's one person I call, and that person is Ariel. And he spent his time explaining to me, I don't know this boss, which part, this is all, what is it about? And you sit down and you explain. If we had taken him abroad and he had got in there and everything was done and we knew that they did all that they needed to be done and we lost him, we would say that yes, we fought, we gave everything, but we couldn't, we were still trying to raise them. We were still putting everything together, we were still put right in the form and I knew to the last day he was considered. He was more concerned about the money that we were going to spend than about his own life. Nigeria happens to everyone, and of course, we are all waiting to happen. 